the bike leaves for Portimao tomorrow morning and I'll tell you all the upgrades I've done to the RSV4 RF for the four day track event. <laughs> Well, after that fancy intro, uh, welcome to my new YouTube channel. Uh, zero subscribers, brand new channel. My name is Abi. Um, I've been thinking about having a YouTube channel for about five years. I went to uh, the NEC show in Birmingham in 2014, and I thought, you know what? I've got a few different kind of bikes. I like cafe races. I like a bit of semi-touring bikes. I like, you know, I love track bikes. Uh, you know, I've got a, I've got an RSV4 RF, which which is great. So I thought, why, why not? have a YouTube channel you know what and life takes over so I just didn't get a chance but um, I'm here now and, and I want to take you guys on a journey with me so um, I'm, I'm going to Portugal Porto Mil, uh tomorrow well I'm not going tomorrow the bike is going tomorrow uh, but all day as you can tell from these droopy eyes I've been um, I've been packing non-stop uh, there was um, I I left it to last minute because I had a a chest and sinus infection which just took over everything and uh, couldn't do any fitness work couldn't do anything uh, really so um, so I left everything to last minute but got everything ready now um, bike is ready as well I'll do a video tomorrow uh, and tell you guys what upgrades I've got um, on the bike before I leave for Porto Mayo so I'm pretty sure I'll have some uh, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have some time but I'll do a super detailed one as well but uh, I just want to give you guys in a nutshell uh, what I've done to the bike and uh, what it's going to be all about um, one thing I wanted to let you know about I mean I don't want to give you guys uh, too much information in terms of what the future videos are going to be about at this stage um, if, if you are a budding track day enthusiast or want to go to a track you want to know what's involved I'm going to have uh, this channel and part of this Portimao event will be a, uh, a a section called Portimao Diaries or a or a day <coughs> video diary system so <coughs> excuse me anything to do with uh, with uh, pre preparation for track fitness uh, first day you know what you need you know everything to do with this with with this event I'm going to put it on on YouTube and I want to you know share this journey with you guys if you've got any questions or you want to you know you want to tell me something you know it's the first time I'm going to port uh, Portimao track so uh, you can please uh, you know give me some tips in the comment section and uh, you know what I don't know anything about video editing this is my first video in my front room a bit of old school going on in the background I've got a bit of Formula One collection in the background I'll show you guys that later one day but yeah you know I'm just I'm just a guy like you uh, you know who's who's thinking about you know doing a lot more track days uh, than last year every year uh, you know you think about you know I'm gonna do more track days. by the way this year 2019 you can't do Silverstone as much because of the track uh, <coughs> surface issues so yeah so that's um, that's a big wonder because I, I do love the Silverstone track but I think it's a good thing because I've always shied away from Brandsatch, Cadwell Park, up and down tracks. You know, uh, I mean, Porto Mayo is going to be an eye opener because people say it's like Cadwell Park on, on, on steroids. So, um, so yeah, so this year is going to be about doing different tracks. I mean, I haven't got a, a generator and stuff for tire warmers. So in my journey of buying stuff you know i'll be you know i'll be sharing everything with you however i'm not going to be doing many unboxing videos because i think there's plenty of them online and to be honest everything has been unboxed and it's all on the bike so um you can have a look at you know you can have a you can have a look at all the uh, upgrades i've got and i'll tell you where i went wrong and what i did right and i always think an upgrade should have <coughs> dual purpose so i'll tell you all about that later but uh, yeah i just wanted to make a short video uh, just to tell you a little bit about me, um, you know, I, I, I live in England, uh, you know, and uh, and um, I love doing track days in England because we are very fortunate that we had a lot of airfields from World War Two and all that, you know, which have been converted into race tracks. And this is a great country, um, you know, in terms of motorsport enthusiasm 
you know, and uh, in terms of motorbiking or cars. I mean, I, I was a car guy, you know, until about five years ago. Uh, you know, Formula One galore. Uh, but, you know, it's all about bikes lately. You know, they're more affordable. You can do a lot more on them. Uh, you can go a lot faster for a lot less money. You don't, about, you don't have to buy a Ferrari. But anyways, guys, I don't want to... Uh, you know make this video super long but uh, I'll share my bike upgrades tomorrow so uh, stay tuned take care ciao hello everyone please excuse the mess there's been a bit of a disaster earlier with some uh, with some oil and WD-40 uh, not the best thing to be honest to be on the floor in the garage hence I've jacked the bike up with this lovely constant so I thought, how can I not make my first video without showing you the bike and just telling you a little bit about it. So bike is about to go to Porto Mayo in about half an hour. We need to leave. As you can tell, I'm quite breathless. I've been running around because we've had a last minute disaster as always. So, well, without further ado, I'm just going to tell you about the bike. So Aprilia RSV4 2015-2016 in UK, Europe, I think it's 2016 in America or something like that. It is the, uh, this is the RF, the um, 180 out of 500 limited edition. So if we start from the front, just a few things what I've got for the track and road and stuff. I've got the RNG, <coughs> these roll protection things, uh, bobbins, I think they're called. Um, I've got, uh, they're, they're really good. They're really, really good. I've had one or two guys who've, uh, who have crashed and to be honest, you don't want these lovely Olins to get damaged. So it's, uh, it does a really good job, these bobbins. Uh, then I've got uh, uh, BST carbon wheels. Um, they're really good. Uh, I'll, have, I'll do a special video about them later and tell you all about them. And I think I've got these uh, Brembo HPK discs as well, which came with the wheels. I've, I've got a whole story about the wheels, I'll tell you later. Anyways, um, then uh, obviously the bike comes with factory Olins, uh, Super Corsa SC1, which is uh, a little bit softer. Uh, it's not the OEM stuff which you get, it's the aftermarket, the the ones they use in, you know, race series, you know, Junior and, and BSV and all that, I think. Super stock, I think. Um, then I've got some HID uh, kit, which was about, uh, light, sorry, which was about 130 odd pounds. MRA screen, really good MRA screens, you know, I highly rate them. Really, really good screens. Light tech. By the way, it's not a full super double bubble. It is a bit of a, and it doesn't look too ugly. This is not bad. Uh, this is uh, slightly double bubble and it gives you enough kind of uh, coverage from the air. Light tech mirror blankers and the whole bike is covered with a layer of a, um, I forgot the name, I always forget the name. I think 3M layer. Um, I forgot the actual name, what it's called. Uh, okay, where were we? So we've done the front, yeah, light tech lever guards. Guys, I must say, light tech lever guards, both sides. Yes, I've got both sides. Yes, yes, yes. I know I don't need it on the cliff side, but I've got it. Okay, light tech lever guards. All right, they are absolutely fantastic because one of my friends crashed his bike at Silverstone, and I mean, the lever guards protected the whole front of the bike. They're so solid, it's unbelievable, and obviously, light because of light tech and all that. Got Domino uh, quick action throttle on the most aggressive setting. I think, I don't know, I forgot the colors. I think you get a white, a green, a red, like Italian colors. And I forgot the, which one is the most aggressive one. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's on the most aggressive setting. Then I've got uh, Brembo RCS 19. It's not the Corsa Costa or Corsa Corsa. I keep forgetting names. Uh, it's the normal RCS 19. Pretty good still, to be honest. I've got the Z04 pads with that as well one thing i always say guys if you're going to upgrade one thing you know brembo do a lot of r and d a lot of work in kind of combination units like i, I, I was told that the rcs19 is really good with these um brembo uh, calipers then you gotta have the z4 pad then brady hoses and stuff like that uh you know so it, everything kind of marries each other and, and, and works really well this side, I've got a Brembo clutch perch. Um, got, oh, you must be thinking, what is this little switch? 
this is basically I've got a power commander 5 with a secondary fueling module so this if you turn it off is baffle mode this is baffle off mode this is what I got told by the um, by the guy who tuned the uh, the ECU and stuff <coughs> then I've got an i2M Pro Dash uh, one of the most expensive things on the bike and mm, you can argue if it's worth it on a road slash track bike Am I going to use it to its full potential? Uh, potential. I'll do a, another video on this. Um, I'll turn it on. It goes all night rider mode, and then it's then it displays. So I two M Pro. It initializes it for a bit, and yep, I've got front temperature, rear temperature. So basically, I've got tire pressure sensors in the carbon wheels, and underneath the mud guards, I've got the infrared sensors for the heat and stuff so I'll, i'm going to use it at portomeo i'll tell you all about it you know we'll, we'll, i'll do a proper video then i've got uh, if you notice what this is basically before i got the i2m dash i used to monitor my lap times through an app and you know what Vel industrial velcro oh my goodness fantastic you know it's really solid piece of kit doesn't let your phone slip anywhere you know and you can you know i i really think apps proper proper lap timer apps are the way forward um, you know than these really expensive dashes uh, but like I said we'll do another video on, on this later um, light tech show off I don't know suspension setting thingies they do nothing except show off that's it light tech lever guards sorry lever guards uh, light tech uh, clip-ons Olin's uh, damper uh, what else Is anything else yeah I've, I've modified the position of the Brembo um reservoir the one you which you get is really ugly with the rcs19 it just sticks here and like you just like oh, come on and then when you do a full lock it's it's actually here so it's it's a little bit lower and it's been reset properly um rng tank protection you know just preparing for a crash if i have any um stomp grips clear stomp grips guys 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 i know this is a hot topic on the internet do these get yellow the new stomp grips which are now for the last three four years do not go yellow the clear ones are absolutely fine unless you're going to park your bike in 40 degrees sun like india california florida temperatures all the time it might lose a bit of color because of the glue but i don't think so you know it's, it's i've had it i've had it i've had them on my previous bike for two three years nothing happens you know absolutely fine and they're you know from far away you can't even tell Carbon, I think they are Jap 4 carbon uh, swing arm covers going all the way from the front all the way to the back. Excuse the mess, uh, it's, it's a bit filthy. Uh, like I said, I've got a full protection layer on the bike, protects it from stone chips. Um, RNG protection here, fantastic bit of kit. GB racing on the um, clutch covers and stuff like that. Um, Constand lifts the bike up, really, really good a piece of really really good piece of kit go f don't go for the cheap stuff you know made in germany you know proper stuff uh then uh i've got geomoto rear sets um decent rear sets you know no complaints solid uh, deliberately i've chosen that these don't fold this fold but this doesn't fold because when you have a crash this protects your bike you know you you know this is you know you gotta you gotta have a lot of protection in your bike because you never know when you're pushing you know anything can happen touch wood i've been quite lucky but uh but yeah um then uh, i've got an irc auto blipper quick shifter the original one has come off so i'm running irc um i do use the quick shifter and auto blipper a lot on the track in the city i use it medium i'll i actually have a, a really good video lined up for this because you get a lot of questions about our auto blip is really bad for your gearbox. I'll do a full video and I'll, I'll let you know. Light tech chain guard. Uh, this might be coming off. I might be going for a quick wheel change kit and there's a specialized one with it. I've got a different sprocket um, which came with the carbon wheels. Um, I don't know how many tooth on, on it to be honest. Uh, carbon rear cover, rear, sorry, uh, is it fender? Americans call it fender cover, isn't it? Mud guard. Um, Olin's at the back, um, another RNG carbon protection here. You know, just just you know, if the bike falls, you've got a bit of you know, bit of protection here because this this thing comes out. 
you know with Aprilia's when you have a fall and uh, this and this tends to get damaged a lot so you know just just do your best from your side to protect yourself um, then I've got in a Karovic a, Kar a Kropovich system it's not a full system um, it's got the carbon I think this is one of the most beautiful things a Kropovich make absolute beautiful carbon hanger um, they're not available very often online so uh, I do know someone who does make them um, so if you if you need one uh, give me a shout in the comment section um, then what else have we got uh, GB racing the swing arm they, they protect the swing arm and also for the paddock stand I, I, I don't think I'll be using paddock stands to be honest because I've got this constant now and I'm, I was really rubbish at a paddock stand you know and um, getting it up myself um, getting the bike up myself, well, not getting it up myself, got, 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 got it all wrong there. Um, Giamoto, again, uh, fantastic, foldable, RNG hair, you'll be thinking, why have I got RNG hair? And GB there, I had a bit of a issue, and I will tell you about that later. Um, RNG there, what else, have I missed out on anything? Have I missed out on anything? My ECU is a race ECU, it was modified. Well, it was tuned by a chap in Italy called Gabbro. A lot of people have heard of them in the Aprilia world, uh, but uh, <coughs> I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you all about that later. I don't know what else. What else have I got? Any other, any other upgrades on this? I haven't gone for a, a fancy kind of um, a fuel, a keyless fuel cap or a carbon. You know, I, I, I just think. You know, you, when you start spending money, there's just no limit. So I just thought, you know what, I'll leave some things to standard because, you know, what's what's that going to, you know, gain and stuff like that. So guys, I just wanted to do a, a short video on this. I don't think I've, um, yeah, the filter I've got, air filter I've got is Sprint. <coughs> air filter uh, plugs I use, uh, I think I use NGK. Do I use NGK? No, uh, yeah, NGK Iridium. I've just checked it because I've just checked the box. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, oil, Mortal is great. I think Putoline, I've heard, it is quite good for these RSV4s. Um, so yeah, valve clearance checked. Um, you know, I, I really look after this bike. You know, you know, with Italian bikes, you 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 got to look after them. They are, I mean, it's pretty reliable to be honest. You know, but you still got to just look after them. You know, just, any bike you got to look after really. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. The bike is off to Porto Mayo in half an hour, maybe 15 minutes, depending on when my mate turns up. I've got a trailer, I4 Williams trailer. I, I take the bike in it. Um, I'll do a video on trailers as well. I've learned a few things about them. And I'll do everything, what stuff I carry uh, to the track. You know, um, hopefully that will be the next video. Maybe I can do that now, actually. All right, guys, catch you later. Uh, if you've got any questions about the bike, or about any upgrades any sort of upgrades I've done a lot of research spent a lot of stupid money on it you know and I really really want to help people out if they're looking for stuff you know and they want sensible upgrades practical upgrades you know I'm not big into looks uh, you know say as a guy who takes a full limited edition RF body kit to a track no 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 Trust me, I'm not that much into looks in terms of every single thing on this bike is there, it serves purpose. You know, you might say, oh, why have I got a secondary lever guard here? You know, that's not necessary, but I tell you what, in a crash, really handy. So yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comment section, any questions, anything you want to ask on any sort of upgrades on the bike. If I don't know, I'll find out, you know, I'm just like you guys, you know, I'm you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting really into tracks and going Europe a bit. And, um, you know, we can, uh, we can all help each other. Ciao. Take care. I'll catch you guys later.